Hi guys, so I am out taming a tapajera at the moment. I'm going to try and tame one. And I thought this might be something that would be quite useful for other people to see. Because it is a little bit of an annoying tame. Uh, in the fact that they are very skittish. And they are also quite a rare spawn. So basically what you need to be thinking of here is you need to be thinking of a Tyrannodon in which you need to be sneaking up on them. So to do this what I've got is I have got a set of nice giddy armour on. I've got some Allosaurus kibble. Now we have Allosaurus at home so we've just been sort of stocking up the eggs on that. Uh, obviously some narcotic. I'm using tranquilizer darts and shocking tranquilizer darts. I've currently got the shocking ones loaded up. Um, I have got fiber and hide on me because I plan to put spikes around it. Now uh, before I go looking I want to say one thing here is that you might want to think about doing a wild dino wipe before you do this. Now if you don't know how to do that um, if you're on solo what you should be able to do is just this. You should bring up press tab to bring this um, menu up here and you want to type in show my admin manager. So you want to type in that command there so once you've brought up that show my admin manager, what you want to do is you want to scroll this cheap manager down and you want to find destroy, destroy it wild dinos. And you want to use that because uh, that will just reset everything, everything will spawn out how it should. I find personally that they are one of the rarest spawns, like we're talking Quetzal level here. Um, and I don't know what they shared a spawn with and it's quite hard to find them if you haven't done that for a while. And that's just a generally a good um, server management thing is you should destroy wild dinos on a regular basis like on a daily basis because there is there's always going to be imbalances with things things will share spawns and you won't get them come up and things like that so just do that it's always a good thing to do and for this it's, it's very specifically good to do right okay so where I'm going to be looking for these and the best place I have found for looking for them is as you can see I am over by the blue obelisk here and what I'm going to be doing is you kind of want to be looking out of, oh let me just bring this down a bit there we go okay now we can see what's going on um now this is a modded uh spyglass that i'm using here you want to be going from that ridge line there all the way along the right down to there that is kind of the area you're going to find them so anything south of that so what i'm going to do uh let's say so south of that north point so as if you look on the map here this is where i am um i am over by the obelisk and you want to be basically going down the line of about longitude 25. Um, so you want to be going down there and anything west of that is where they might spawn. Now the place that I've usually found them spawning is down in these forest areas around here. That is the best place I've found to, uh, to uh, locate them. So let's take this off and we'll just go down into those forests. Now it's really important when you are looking for these guys is don't go too fast through the forest because you will scare them off and they take an age to land again after that so you want to be making sure you have something that you can be going around on and you can just jump off of it now what you're looking for for a tapajera is you're looking for basically a pteranodon that has its wings that come back to its feet like a quetzal and obviously you're looking for the big sail on top of its head so i'm just going to go through here now they are very rare um, they're extremely rare. I've, I've so hard to find them quite often. So I'd say is if you're looking to get one, just try and keep a set of giddy armor on you, a bowler, and tranquilizer darts at any time. Once you got it down and tranked, you could build a structure around it, and then you can come back and do it as needed. So I'll just say, you know, once you're looking for these, make sure you do that. And I think it's getting to night time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly fly through this forest and see if we can spot one up. So you want to be under the tree. There's one there. Right, there we go. Look, there's Tapajera right there. So I'm going to jump off of this, and I'm going to go into crouchy mode. Got my bowler. Right, okay. So let's uh, get a bit closer, and then go sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. We're hunting wabbits. It could be very quiet. <laughs> Where's he gone? I think he's... Looks like is that a tip of his? Don't tell me he just got himself killed. I think he just got himself killed. Okay. Let's just have another look around, make sure Ooh, you can go away. So 
So as you can see, that is another issue there, is they uh, are a little bit, um, well, suicidal. So let's uh, jump up here if I can. Let's see if I can see him around here again. Yeah, he definitely got himself killed, didn't he? So freaking smooth, dude. Oh, wait a second. No. Okay. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, yeah, they, they're a little bit suicidal. So let's see if I can just find another one in this forest area here. Now, this is a place where whenever I've done a wild dino wipe, there's always been one that's turned up here. Always. Like, I mean... You go to the wild dino wipe, you'll, you'll see one in the forest somewhere. So this forest here, um, right near the blue obelisk, is definitely a spawn point for them. Um, so if you really want to get one, uh, you want... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he is, look, you see him up there. Look, there he is. Right up there, along that ridge. Right, okay. So I'm going to back off. I'm going to run up, I'm going to go up here with the griffin. Run through here. Right, okay, so, crouching mode. Let's get a little bit closer, let's see if I can get him from this far away. Come on. Come on. Damn it, missed. Now, luckily, he hasn't... Got him down! Right, okay. Right, what level is he? He's a level 90, that's okay. Right, so now we just want to take out thing out and pow. One shocking tranquilizer die. And there he goes. So that is how easy they are to drop. Very much like a Tyranodon. Right, we throw the kibble on him, throw the narcotic on him. And now you can see the reason that I am carrying all of that thatch and hide around because I'm going to build spiked walls around him. So here we go. So I'm going to make a load of these regular spike tools. I'm not going to use the S plus stuff because that's sometimes really annoying to put down. Right, I'll throw this on my inventory. And I'm just going to start putting these spike walls down. That's one. Two. Just don't want anything coming up here and chomping on him and ruining the tank. <coughs> now what you're also going to notice here is that his food does drop very slowly, like ridiculously slowly. Right, so let's get these down. There we go. Now he should be safe here. This is set of yeah. Right, there we go. That is Tapajera down. Let's see how much we're gonna get. Now don't forget we do have the um, times for taming multipliers on this. Now I believe it's about 80 food for a kibble, so we're just gonna see if that drops down, but we'll see how much it is. Sure, I'll turn my gamma up so you can see what's going on. There we go, that's the gamma up, you should be able to see what's going on now. So as you can see, they are basically like a mini Quetzal with a big side on the head. Hi dude. Right, so I just brought the griffin in here and uh, I've just closed all this off. I've got to say, I really like this stairway that one of our um, tribe mates has done. Right, okay, so here we go. Should be, yeah, so it looks like it's going to be 80, uh, 80 food for one of these Allosaurus kibbles. I have terrible, I've got terrible memory for those sort of things. Um, now, whatever you see here, like I said, this is a four times taming multiplier we've got, so you kind of probably want to divide it by four for whatever you're going to see happening. Okay, yep, it is 80, he's taken a norm. So he's got 28.6%. Let's divide that by four. So you're probably looking at what about 7.1, 7.2% per chomp on an Allosaurus kibble if you were doing this with just a times one multipliers. Right, so I'm going to let this guy tame out. So I'm sure you noticed that I didn't actually put on my giddy gauntlets when I was taming this guy. Um, so you see that he didn't go into running mode, even though I got quite close to him without crouching. So the trick to this is that whatever you do, don't. Oh, there we go. Didn't do that. Uh, what what you don't want to do is don't try and fly up really close and throw the boulder because they will fly so quickly. 
Um, this is what I've done here, which is uh, jumping off the griffin from quite a way away and then coming close. That is what has always worked for me. Go from further away and stalk him. Make sure you've got a creature you, you, you're confident can take a few hits. And if anything, landing your creature a bit further away can actually be a benefit because you might find that um, things will attack it rather than the tap shaver. Now, I will also say they're quite suicidal. Um, one of the reasons I was sure that it went and hit itself is I was actually doing this video earlier on and I was stalking one and he got himself killed by flying to a rock and got chomped. So, yeah, um, this area is good for finding them, but it, they obviously do share a spawn with something and they are obviously the rarer one of it. So if you can't find them, do a dino wipe or if you're on a server uh, that um, you've got a different admin on there. Uh, make sure you get them to do a dino wipe or ask when they do their dino wipe so you know when to go and look for them. Um, I would say that I have never really seen them with regularity within about maybe two or three days. Uh, that's real life days of doing a dino wipe. Um, I, we tend to do dino wipes every day, but every time that we've let it sort of go out, the, um, the instance of these spawning has really gone down now. Just grab him there okay so but right, i'm just going to take him home and i'll show you the other areas that i go looking for them the first thing i'm going to do is get rid of these spike walls right so as you saw when i found this tapshera um it was in this sort of forest basin sort of all around here that we see in there um now another place i often find them is along this sort of river bit here so i often sort of see them hanging out around here and up the top of here so if you can't find one down inside there uh, go and have a look along here just keep popping your head underneath the trees now I do find that um, they do tend to fly quite low until they get startled and then they will fly up high up in the air which is one of the reasons I think they're quite rare to find oh there's another one right, okay there you go that's what happens when you scare them off So as you can see, you, know, you get anywhere near them, that happens. What the does he? Eh. Okay. So that kind of proves my point is that I do find them up here. Um, let's see if I can get eyes on him. That's a 140 female. Well, I'm going to tame the crap out of that. But okay. So, what I'll do is uh, give another example of what I'm doing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for it to get into an area I'm quite happy for it to be in. Thanks, dude. So, there's definitely some sort of glitchiness going on here because I've been watching this now for a couple of minutes. And it's just been going round and round in a circle. And every time it looks like it's going to go down, it goes back up again. Right, so I'm going to leave that and maybe come back for it later on. Okay, so the other places that I do often find them is... So, as you see, we found one down in this foresty area here, following the ridge line. Found one up there along that river, which is like literally right in front of my face right here is where I hit it. Um... Now, the other places that I also find them is when you find this set of rivers down here, you kind of want to go follow this ridge line along. So I'm just going to be careful here. Let's try not to scare any others that might be in here. Here we go. So if you follow the ridge line and the trees underneath here, follow this river along, you're going to get to a sort of basin up here where you'll have a lot of herbivores. And I often find tapageras landing down in there as well. So let's see if we can see any. Those are all pteranodons. I'm not seeing any, but this is the area here where you would often find uh, a few more of them. So I'll bring up my map here. As you can see, it's that's going more towards the coast from that line that I was pointing out. And as you see, that's 20.1, 19.8. So I'm not seeing any here. And I'll show you the last place around here where I often also see them. So easiest thing for me to show you that would be to go up out of the trees. 
Okay, so I've gone up out of the tree so you can kind of see what I'm, I'm talking about here. This ridge line here, so let's see, there's the um, there's the obelisk. There's the, uh, down there are the rivers that I talked about. And that's the ridge line that I was saying to follow. Now once you get to the other side of this ridge line, it, the, the topography is a bit interesting. So it's very easy to actually get lost between there and there. So I would always say, if you're coming over here to look, come up out of the trees first so you can actually get your bearings of where you're going. And very much like in that little ridge area uh, where we first found this guy, is once again just go underneath the trees and follow underneath the tree line or underneath the canopy of the trees and I often find uh, tapageras underneath here as well let's see if we can find them now if you follow this all the way along you actually get to a cool little plains area and that's another place so it's like from here just follow these mountains all the way along and you'll then you'll sort of like it'll just suddenly you'll stop having these um, little lakes and uh, patches of trees and you just come to this really big flat plains area so let's go underneath the trees here I'm just following basically I'm following the coast to the south now and once you follow the coast to the south you come to this area here now this is a lot more there's a lot more carnivores around here once we get somewhere, I feel confident. Right, okay, if I press M and bring this up, this is where I am at the moment. Now, it doesn't seem to be made to run it on. Oh, no, there's a couple down there, so maybe it might be down there. Now, I'm not sure if these guys share a Tyrannodon's spawn, or maybe it's in conflict, but it does seem that when you have a ton of Tyrannodons around, you won't find a tap share. So, once again, I would say do your um, do a wild dino wipe just to ensure that you are getting them sworn in as they should. Right guys, so in the other areas, I didn't see any more, but that is where I have also seen them sort of going before. They do seem to have quite a large flying area. It's obvious that around here, there is a spawn point for these guys and it doesn't share nicely with whatever else is on the spawn point. Or maybe they're just a rare spawn and because you get lots of numbers of other things, these guys don't necessarily spawn in at, with the same frequency as when you do a wild dino wipe so if it's your own server or you're running it solo think about doing a wild dino wipe you should find them i've always found one after a wild dino wipe in this area here and that is basically going from that obelisk to those arches so go from that obelisk to the arches to the trees i have always seen one sometimes they're suicidal but i've always seen one and this time as you saw i saw two Always have your giddy on you, always have a boulder on you, always have your tranks on you when you're hunting them. Try and use Allosaurus kibble. Make sure, you put, uh, make sure you land quite far away from them because when you're on a creature, you just completely negates you having any sort of giddy on you. So as you saw when I scared the other one off, which by the way, I went over there and as I came over there, I saw something that looked very much like a tapajera land next to a pack of saber teeth. Yeah, that, that didn't go well for it stupid thing right okay hope you guys have found that useful hope you managed to catch one catch you all soon